Every time we try to stand up, somebody push me down, push me down. Oh, he's everybody's running in the same way. You hear a loud bang and you know it's America. The World Series of Poker, $1,500 event, named the closer. The final event of the World Series of Poker, the last bastion of hope, our last chance to break even or maybe even sniff a profit. One re-entry available, 50,000 starting chips, 30 minute levels, 22 levels of play. Let's bag and tag at 2 a.m. There is a $200 200k or something at the MGM Grand. Last flights are today. I believe I can late reg that till nine is plan B. If I don't want to re-enter this 1500, but plan A is to bag and tag off one bullet. Let's find good spots and make it happen. With blinds at 400, 800, 800, under the gun, 30 year old European male puts in the raise to 1800. What's he repping? I'm in middle position with pocket queens. Hello, ladies. 50,000 starting stack. Should we get it in now or set the trap? Aggressive opponents on our left. I put in the flat. Four ways to a flop of 10, 10, 8. Big blind checks. Under the gun checks. He might have ace king. Possibly aces. I bet 3,000 and only under the gun raiser calls. Turns an eight. Pretty hard to have an eight or a 10 on this board, especially for the under the gun raiser. So we check behind. River's a jack and he checks. Can we get value from ace high? Thanks for Reggie. Seems very unlikely unless we're bluffing with all of our small pairs that got counterfeited. I check behind and he shows me pocket aces. We lost 5,000 ships with queens versus aces, and that's the moral of the story. 55,000 on second break, 420, two hours till dinner. Boom! How you doing, bro? My I, just got, I just got in D-Nex Oh, no shit. Sure. Yeah. Great shot of the Smithers with the background. Marlboro man. With lines at six hundred, twelve hundred, under the gun, men, quote unquote, the master win. Opens to 5,200 with 3,000 behind. Strange sizing. I'm two to his left with King Queen off, and I think our hand's gonna be better than his on average. We put in the call. Everybody else folds. We're off to see a flop of Queen Jack nine, and he checks. I bet 3,000. Fully expecting a call, and he folds. I don't know about this strategy, but uh, you're forced all in in the big blind on the very next hand. So. We'll take, we'll take the pot, we'll take it. Chipping up. The very next hand, man, the master is forced all in in the big blind. I'm in early position with pocket queens. I make it 3,000. James Romero flats to my left. Pro reg from Austria makes it 8,100. What's he repping, aces? Folds back to me, I have about 70,000 in my stack, so I make it 22,000 to go. Romero folds and Austrian says, I didn't even see you open and regrets his three bet decision and folds. We're up against men the master with our queens. Let's hold. Actually, let's hit quads and send them to the rail in style. Oh. <laughs> Boom. Quads. Good game, man.
like a well in the room. Oh, yeah. 2,500 big blind, open sevens in middle position. Romero calls next to me. 50-year-old Caucasian male shoves all in for 20,800. I have about 65,000 at this point, so I re I reshoved to isolate with our sevens. James folds and we're up against pocket tens. I'm feeling lucky. Lucky sevens. Let's get there. Oh my God. Why did you close the house? Oh, how does he know like this? Good. Good. Tens. Tens better than sevens. Face when I first sat down. There's a few pots, we're on dinner break, coming back to 3,000 big blind, and we have about 40,000 in our stack. Let's find some good open shove spots or grease deals. We still have fold equity. If you don't use it, you lose it. The blind's at 3,000 big blind ante. Under the gun plus one with pocket kings, the cowboys. Of course, we're going to mid-raise this holding to 6,000. We get a call from middle position. We get a call from the butt. We get a call from the small blind. No one wants to get it in free. The big blind does fold. We're four ways to a flop. No ace dealer. The flop comes. 10, 6, 4, two clubs. Hopefully no one has a set. Only one way to find out. We bet out 13,000. Original flatter calls. And the other two players fold. We're heads up to a turn with less than a pot size bet remaining. The turn is a wet one. Didn't know you like to get wet though. The old jack of hearts. Two flush draws, some straight draws, and two pair combos. Specifically jack 10. But you can't live in fear. We shove all in for 36,000 and my opponent calls. They show the jack 10 of clubs. And we have to fade a couple outs on this river. They have us covered. Brick City, baby. Here we go. What's up, guys? I'm Jesse Jane, and you better be watching Jeff Bowski on YouTube. Live on the East Coast? Yeah, uh, New York. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. I moved out here. About 150,000 chips in my stack at 5K big blind. We're under the gun with pocket aces. Nothing but premiums today. I make it 10,000. Guy on my left thinks about it and puts in the call. Who wants to squeeze? The very next guy squeezes it all in for 42,000. A sight for sore eyes. Action does fold back around to me and we just put in the call trying to induce from the flatter. Aces are the nuts pre-flop. Flatter eventually folds ace jack of spades, he claims, and rub against pocket nines for 80% to win. Let's hold for a 100k pot. That's not what we want to block. Wait till the ace comes. The table goes then crazy. Sick, yeah. Right on the river. No justice. I jacked on a hearts. Oh, the luck box. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah. And we are on break with 90,000 chips going to 8K Big Blind Ante. Time to find some good push fold spots and accumulate. Maybe 5% of the field is going to bag and tag. Hopefully that's us. The 1500 closer, we might be getting close to the money. Let's find out.
Come back from break, 4, 8,000, 83,000 early position, look down at Ace King, I shove all in, small blind has about 50,000 and calls it off, we're heads up against Ace 10, let's hold, knock out a shorty and almost double up. Alright, All right. Ace King looking good, <laughs> big hold. Come on Jack. Oh, that's good. That's right. Okay. Is that straight? No, that's straight. Oh, my God. With blinds at 4,000, 8,000, middle position makes it 20,000 to go. I'm in the big blind with about 140,000. Big blind, Andy, 150,000, something like that. And ace queen. Time to get busy living or get busy dying. Get busy living or get busy dying. And we shove all in, and then I hear a commotion. Within the first second, I figured, oh, two poker players are fighting. I'm facing the wall, I'm facing the door. There's, you know, a hundred tables behind me. So when I turn around, I see people start running, and the floor is shaking. And I think, oh, it's an earthquake. Gotta get out of here. One second later, everybody's still running at me, tripping, falling over each other. People are on the ground. And then I think, there's a shooter. Someone has a gun. People are yelling, get down. Get down. And run. I didn't know what to do. Get down under the tables or run. Eventually, I said, all right, let's just get out of here. And somehow dodged everybody that was coming at the doors and I made it out and I just started I just started running through the hallways towards the parking garage and then I realized I don't have my backpack and I got my keys a wallet a lot of important things in this backpack so uh, once I made it to the garage I had a decision to make just get out of there and possibly never see the contents of that backpack who knows what's going on I didn't check Twitter I eventually decided it's Time to go back for the backpack, right back into the flames. I made my way back there. The room was still open. I was able to go right to my table, get my backpack, and make it all the way back out to the garage where I saw Chris Mormon. And he said, mate, my backpack's in there. I have a lot of money in there. And you'll never believe I just had pocket aces when that happened. And I didn't know whether to bet or check raise. I'm like, what? Aces? Your backpack? Active shooter? What's going on? Should we go back? I said, well, you need your backpack. Let's go. Went all the way back to the tournament area. Got him in the room to get his backpack. Saw some other friends and uh, ran into Rampage. Who decided, hey, it's a good time to go to the food court. Let's get some food. Kind of weird, but okay. Let's get out of the area. Rest of the casino unaffected. It was like they were oblivious to what just happened. Crazy experience I'll never forget. Hopefully I never have to live through that again. A huge stampede in the poker room, never seen anything like it. I thought there was an earthquake, but apparently someone stood up and yelled active shooter, and it was a chain reaction of people screaming and yelling and jumping over tables. I was a table by the door and I did not collide with anybody. Uh, I don't think this is the way. Oh, somebody said that there was a bump. Wait, what? I don't know. What the hell? They stepped on him. They got him right there on that table. And uh, we're on a pause. False alarms across the board by LB. Kev Math, WSOP.
combination of this. Um, and we're gonna try and get everyone their backpacks and their cell phones. <laughs> my fucking my shoulders fucked up, bro. We got a shoulder they got injury. Me. And me, shoulder and me. Oh, that's a little raspberry. Every time we try to stand up, somebody push me down, push me down. Because everybody's running in the same way. This is me. Every time I start running, people push me. Yeah, just me. Yeah, at least we're all right, though. You know? Could be worse. It's fucking crazy. You hear a loud bang and you know it's America. So how long are you Remember. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, but you know, I know somebody has those cards out right Yeah, I'm saying me. It's like four or five cards missing out of the deck. There are chips all on the floor. Like, yeah. I came back in over there. He opened that shit. just chips just everywhere. That's a big line with 160. And then, like, glasses, shoes. Yeah, well, there's no way. The chips just all over there. You see the video? Everybody standing up at it? Yeah. So, yeah, y'all would probably play it down. It would probably be playing down to about 150. Well, whatever that level is. I'm sure a ton of people left. Yeah, I wonder when they paused it. It's, it's unbelievable like, what we experienced. Is, like, there's a whole world out there, nobody like, you know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy, bro. That shit was something. They don't even know. That's why they thought it was Man, that, like that, that rush right there, something that like, just happened to us all. Not fun. Okay, no, that's fucking <laughs> traumatizing. This is very, very important. We're getting ready to get our slips together. It's going to take about five or ten minutes to get these slips together. We're going to go ahead and back you guys up. We're going to bring you back at noon. You'll play through your 22 levels. Then we'll take an hour break and restart both flights at 5 p.m. tomorrow. You can't play with mine, but like, like, ten All right, we're bagging up. Bag and tag. We have a delay of game. We'll be returning tomorrow at noon. Everybody's bagging up. Most people are here to bag. This is the fairest way to do it. I approve of this resolution. We'll play our flight out until like 3.30 p.m., have an hour of rest, and then combine with flight 1A at 5 p.m. See you guys tomorrow at noon. We bag. We tag. Oh, same table. Yeah, same the table way. stays intact. Okay. We'll see each other tomorrow. Bobby. <laughs> wow, that was just crazy. Just crazy, man. I thought it was an earthquake, 100%. People just running and knocking over all the poker tables. People yelling, run, run. People on the floor getting stepped on, trampled. I didn't know what to do. I thought it was an earthquake, so I wanted to stand in the doorway, the frame. But people wanted to get out of the doorway, so I didn't stay there. <laughs>